Scuba kind of incorporates a lot of different variables. You've got the physicality of it, the unknown of it, being able to see things that you've never seen before. You have the mental aspects of the fact that you're underwater somewhere, you know, you're not supposed to be really. There's just so many things about Florida that provides such a unique experience that you honestly won't see, not only anywhere in America, but in a lot of places anywhere in the world. I mean, it's gorgeous. It, there's really nothing like it. Being able to get into the water with scuba and move around freely, it's an unreal experience for sure. I had a golden retriever who was a therapy dog and we visited the hospital and Ronnie was not doing well. He was recovering from a gunshot. All I knew about him was that he liked the outdoors. That's all I knew. And so I asked him if he was a scuba diver by any chance. And he said, no, but I always wanted to learn. And at the time, his prognosis was not looking good. But I said, when you get better, look me up. And he said, but I'm paralyzed. How can I dive? I said, you're going to be just as good, if not better, than a completely able-bodied diver. And he said, OK. He looked me up. And it was evident how talented he was in the water, but also his demeanor change, his depression, and a lot of things that are associated with being a random act of violence just changed. Having someone like Gabrielle, who's like, you know always there, just constantly pushing me along, giving me encouragement. Yeah, I've never met anyone like her. She is, she is something else. So for me, for example, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I live with pain. Most of my life I've lived with pain, but the only time I don't feel pain is when I'm scuba diving. I've seen scuba diving completely transform people's lives. You are breathing enriched oxygen at depth and it's permeating your tissues. And most of the people in my program who experience chronic pain say the same thing. Whether they have quadriplegia or paraplegia, they say that they just don't feel pain when they're diving. There's a lot of uniqueness to Florida. Literally, the, the amount of flora and fauna available within Florida is almost unparalleled. Florida is also a very accessible state. Just a lot of things to help the disabled go about their daily lives. It's the very first dive master with paraplegia to be an SEI dive master. This is huge. Internationally, people are contacting me and just saying how cool it is that somebody with a disability of this extent could achieve this level of leadership. People here are more than accommodating. They are encouraging when it comes to welcoming people who are differently abled. I say people are as warm as the weather. 